Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I went to Fernan. We have murder mysteries. Oh come on, get the fuck out of the way. Of course I went to the wrong place. Well, let me get a bit closer. There we go. And we are doing hot chocolate to die for. Okay, right here. What are you doing here? This is a private tragedy. If you must know, I am Amélie Montvoisin. This is... was... my elder sister, Valérie Duclos. I refuse to believe that Georges poisoned her, even after what she said. Valérie and I were quite close, but I must say, she was simply dreadful the entire evening, drinking too much, insulting everyone, the worst was when she announced she planned to denounce Georges to the Committee of Public Safety. Never liked her. Never. Even when her husband, rest his soul, was alive. He was a true gentleman, he was. Mr. George was his friend. Used to come by for meals and eat and eat. Pity he'll be getting the chop. But, madame, spit her day lording it over poor Miss Amelie and yelling at Master Pierre. Who knows what Miss will do now? Not having a penny to her name and not likely to find a husband at her age. Sorry, Pierre. She was difficult, Georges, but she was my mother. I promised your father I'd watch over your family, and look how I failed. Yes, she threatened me. She made baseless threats at every dinner party. But she was getting angrier and angrier, so I repaired to the terrace with my brandy. On my way back down, I encountered Amélie. She sent me out to the garden to calm her sister with some hot chocolate. My mother was often difficult, and she was particularly nasty this evening. I suspect it had to do with a letter she received earlier in the day. In any case, she became angrier and angrier until she finally stormed out into the garden. I told Lucille to take her a calming cup of hot chocolate, but Aunt Amélie, fearing Lucille would upset Mother even further, took the cup away. Mother's always been unhappy that I inherited most of father's wealth, and she often accused Lucille of wanting only my money. But that's all over now, isn't it? Lucille and I can marry at last.
ça, c'est pas bon. got along very well. Oh, she was a bit concerned about her son being younger than me, I suppose. But I've known her since before her husband died. Poor man took ill and asphyxiated. Shame. He did manage to put Georges in charge of the family finances. My, that made Valérie furious. Very amusing. Tonight, she seemed especially angry. She's never threatened Georges with execution before. Oh well, takes all kinds. If you must know, I am Amélie Montvoisin. This is... was. My El damn you! Interfering where you're not wanted. Valérie didn't deserve that money. I did much more for the honor of the family. She was nothing but a vile, hectoring drunk. You. If I were you, I'd be careful what I drank. I love a hot chocolate myself. I believe I'll have one now. Meanwhile, see if there's something you want. Some shady characters mixed up in this one, eh? Boatman, I know, says maybe you should look along the shore. Try across the river, this side of Pont Neuf. It's dangerous to be a politician these days. You might want to take a walk up past the Louvre. Maybe around the post office. Boatman, I know, says maybe you should look along the shore. Try across the river, this side of Pont Neuf. Some shady characters mixed up in this one, eh? <laughs> 